We're going to discuss right now the uh, breaking news overnight from Chelsea as we look ahead as well to their game against Wolves. But this was confirmed late last night. In fact, this morning at around 1, 1 1.30. It was a statement put out on their website confirming that uh, Todd Bowley's um, ownership group, if you like, have agreed terms to take over Chelsea Football Club. This is what the statement says. Of the total investment being made, £2.5 billion will be applied to purchase the shares in the club and such proceeds will be deposited into a frozen UK bank account with the intention to donate 100% to charitable causes as confirmed by Roman Abramovich. UK government approval will be required for the proceeds to be transferred from the frozen UK bank account and in addition the proposed new owners will commit £1.75 billion in further investment for the benefit of the club. This includes investments in Stamford Bridge, the Academy, the women's team and Kings Meadow and continued funding for the Chelsea Foundation. The statement further went on to say the sale is expected to complete, be completed in late May, subject to all necessary regulatory approvals and more details will be, be, be provided at that time. So it's taken a bit of time yeah. for uh, this to be all settled now. There were a number of proposed buyers for the club, but it's Todd Bowley's that now has, it seems, uh, has, has agreed to become the new owners, as I say, subject to all the necessary approvals. But what do you think then, Cass, as a, a former Chelsea man? Is this the right direction? Are you happy with this, that it's all going to be sorted? Well, well, first and foremost, I'm, I'm not surprised that Chelsea went for a, an incredible amount of money. I, I never went along with... Yeah, you've with, always said that. You know, that it's not going to be bought on the cheap. There was four people interested who are very wealthy and mm. venture capitalist group, um, you know, are going to get over the line. Um, Chelsea are not going to suffer. They've got an incredible squad of players. Um, yes, they will be adding more to it and puts the club in a challenging position. They're, they're in as good a shape as... If you think of their youth system and you think of players have already got... And yes, they are going to lose one or two uh, players. They're, they'll just keep going. You know, it's a machine that's been working in London for a long time, Chelsea's a club. And you know what, Now At my time in Chelsea, I never realised how many wealthy people followed that club mm. over the years. I mean, even if you go back to Ken Bates' day, days and when, when Clem was involved, he was challenged for that club a number of times where people were trying to take over. And, you know, I mean, if you you think Roman paid, what, 130, 140 million in total for Chelsea? It's been sold for that amount of money. So this group, if you said they paid £4 billion, is it so ridiculous to say in 20 years' time, this club will be sold for £15 billion, £20 wow. billion. Is it that ridiculous to say that? Well, not really. I mean, no. four point two five billion sounds like a heck of a lot of money <laughs> yeah, for a club to is. be sold at. Um, and it's an American ownership now that's coming in. Um, the statement, as I mentioned, was released at one thirty-seven in the morning. Yeah, what time is that in America? Well, that's definitely day- well, it daylight what hours. Well, it well, depends it's... what part. If you're talking California, it's about eight or nine, nine hours behind, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, yeah, east and west coast, obviously very different, mm. but still very much American hours, shall we say. Does that is that a concern for you in some ways, or is that... In what way? What, because it, of the because, time? Yeah, I know it sounds ridiculous to say it, but is that c- catering for the American Americans market. rather than, mm. say, the, the British for example, or is that just because it was all confirmed and that's when they decided to release it? I, like, I, I just think it was a coincidence of timing. I don't think it was any deliberate ploy on their part to go, we'll release it at this time because it suits the American market. They've put a massive investment into a club that they are going to keep, you know, dipping into their pockets to add more to. You know, mm. they, they have made an incredible bid to buy Chelsea Football Club and I think the club will be in great position and there, there are going to be issues, Rudiger growing, going and maybe one or two others. There's going to be issues along the way, but nothing they can't deal with. And what, in terms of the ownership, what do you know then about Todd Bowley? What would you expect from him and, and this group that well, are going to take over? These consortiums now and that are so complex with so many different angles and, you know, they bring in people that do other jobs that they can't do. So it's not just like they've bought the club. They they always have teams around the recruitment side of it, uh, you know, uh, commercially making the club more viable. I mean, it sounds crazy, but, you know, they, they just try and expand. And what we think, oh, it's at the edge now, they can't generate more money football. And yet there's way more money 
around the world to try and get to mm. and you know and, and and that's how i see what this consulting will do they they will go and jeep kind of press forward and evolve chelsea football club i mean chelsea football club i laugh that because the team i played for in 92 to 94 by the time it got to 96 was changing dramatically by the time roman got there it was a completely different mm. club from the club i paid for mm. and now i could say well the club that roman had well, it will probably be a com- completely different club again. It has been on the upward spiral as a football club. You know, I played, and some people, I'm a, some people joke with it, with this with me, say, I, I say we played Southampton on a Tuesday night in 1992 at Stamford Bridge. There were 7,800 people. Mm-hmm. Ken Bates come into the dressing room, went ballistic, and said, there's 7,800 people in a, a top flight game in this stadium, and 800 of them were complimentary tickets. <laughs> You know, so he went ballistic. Yeah. You know, and now that club, and some people might say, well, that's because I was playing there. There was 7,000. You know, but you know what I mean? Now? No it's one like, would this, say this that. This club is uh, such a. Uh, Ken Bates always said it. Had to, the, the, he, had, he felt the opportunity to, be, to become the biggest club in London. Now, there will be Arsenal fans and Tottenham, and likewise West Ham fans would disagree with some of them statements. But what they've done in the last decade or two, they have become the. The, the biggest club in London, as in success, that we've seen certainly in the last decade. So that's confirmation then overnight that Chelsea Football Club have agreed terms for a new ownership group, which is going to be led by Todd Bowley. It's a, a approval of £4.5 billion deal, which still is to be approved by the government and the Premier League as well. But uh, it looks as though the ownership situation finally being resolved at uh, Chelsea and what that means for the future, well, we we will uh, have to wait and see, of course. 